session five, the um, placenta and those first early hours with your baby. So your baby's been born, you've got your baby up on your chest, up on your tummy, and now you can enjoy some really lovely cuddly times getting to know your baby, Love, lovely and cuddly and snuggly. For you, the job's all done. You've got your baby in your arms and you can start to relax and really begin to get to know your baby. But for us, there's one more really important job that we have to do for you, and that's help you to birth the membranes and placenta. So after the baby is born, we don't uh, cut the cord straight away. We give it a few minutes to do what we do. Um, and it's not just our trust nationally, we do this now, we call it delayed cord clamping. So do you remember I said originally um, in one of the other videos that at any one time, a third of the baby's blood volume sits in the placenta. So it's quite quickly within the first few minutes that all that, um, the, 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 the bulk of all that, the, uh, the blood supply and the, uh, the, the nutrients, the oxygen, everything that we need from this placenta goes back that way towards the baby. So within a few minutes, uh, it's we're ready then after, after a few minutes, um, we're ready to clamp the cord in two places and then your partners, uh, if you want to, or we can do it, it's up to you, can um, cut the cord. Now for the placenta to come away, some girls will opt to have the injection in the top of their leg that helps the placenta to, to separate and come away quicker. Um, it, if you have the injection, it mm, possibly takes between sort of five and 10 minutes for the placenta um, to come away. Um, if you have had um, a quite a straightforward birth, um, not very much in the way of pain relief, you might say, do you know what? I haven't had any injections, any interventions, so I'm not going to have any now. I'll just wait and see if um, the placenta comes away naturally itself. If you are somebody that's had a long old labour, lots in the way of pain relief, and your womb is tired, you're tired, or you're someone that is at a really much significantly high risk of blood loss, then we would recommend that you have this injection. But for, for many women, it's personal choice if they have the injection or not to help the placenta come away quicker or some of them will say um, I don't know I'll have it I'll have it in the room and it is always in the room anyway and then if I um, uh, feel that I, I, I would want it if things are if, if the, the placenta is taking a time to come away I can have that injection at any time if I want it so it's up to you for many cases but you can see why sometimes if people are at a high risk of bleeding or if they've had a long labour and the womb is tired why it's a really good idea that injection is a is a is a really essential piece a really essential piece of lifeline there now for some people of course don't forget that just even having the baby up against you, cuddled, snuggled up against you. I did mention in an earlier video that, of course, when you've got the baby snuggled up against you directly after birth, that's one of the times you produce the most of this, this oxytocin. And, of course, by feeding the baby as well, that helps produce that oxytocin. We know that oxytocin is the love hormone, but it's also the hormone that makes that womb surge and release or contract and relax that's going to help that placenta to separate. So the other thing that I would like to say about the placenta, just to say really, is that um, if you, the way I kind of like to describe it is if you imagine that you've got Velcros on the placenta here and you've got Velcros on the wall of your womb. Um, when the the Velcro has millions and millions of fibres, doesn't it? When the placenta comes away, that bit's okay. But imagine the wall of the womb with, instead of millions and millions of fibres, of course, what it really is, is millions and millions of open blood vessels. So when the placenta comes away, it's really important that the womb clamps down because as it clamps down, that's what helps, what, what pinches the blood vessels together and stops you having a heavy blood loss.